I'm going to do a um, color experiment with some TLPs. I'm going to do them in an acrylic blowout kind of bloom style. And I want to uh, hopefully create some coasters as well. I did a test coaster on a seven inch uh, tile actually, and that actually came out great. So that's what inspired me to do a painting of this size. So let's get down and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Be right back. Hey guys, so I'm going to do a really quick bloom. I'm making some coasters, but I'm also wanting to make a matching 14 by 14 canvas. Um, I made a seven by uh, hexagon tile, and that is just gorgeous work. Let's see if I can bring you guys up there so you can see. So I really wanted to use these same colors to make a painting. So I am going to do this, and I really only have about 20 minutes to do this in. But I got so inspired when I did this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be such a beautiful painting, I hope. So I've got my PPG eggshell here, so I'm going to put this down. Now I might wreck this painting, I haven't decided yet. First color I am going to put down, I think I'm going to put down multiple, I think I'm going to put down two layers of the color, but this first is going to be Echeveria, TLP Echeveria. This one is TLP and Taffy. This next one is Amsterdam and Permanent Blue Violet. And this next one is TLP in Sea Glass. Now I am going to come back and do this again. wreck or not that's going to be the question so my cell activator i am going to use is australian floetrol and my oxide black okay I'm going to use my little small dryer that I have. Pull this up.
while this collects, I am going to get a little bit more white because I'm going to need to get some down so the paint will flow. So it didn't take out enough. So now, to wreck or not to wreck? I'm really enjoying wrecking lately. So I think I'm going to. That's going to give us a really cool composition. Created some air bubbles, so I'm just going to dab those. Oh, that's beautiful. Checking all my sides. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, so the only thing I need to do now is I need to get the sides and edges coated. There's a couple of bare spots. Corners are all covered perfectly. Oh, wow. Really, really digging this. All right, guys, so here we are with the wet result. I'm so glad I wrecked it. It just gives it some great lines. It just stretched out those cells. Just fantastic. Bring you guys in here. This color combination is just on point. This is one that I did earlier. So this is what I tested my colors on without wrecking it. And this is the exact same color palette, but I wrecked it and I brought some of the white paint up towards the top. So it had less color. Kind of cool, but definitely this one is a winner. This one will get resin for sure. I will let you guys see this dry. I'll be right back. All right, here we are with the dried result. I love the composition. Everything came out perfectly. Loving these TLP colors. Really did some wonderful things. These are the two tiles that I did. Same colors, just different techniques. I didn't get those on camera though. But look. All right guys, that's gonna do it. So this dried amazing. I love the wrecked look to it. You get the cells that stretched out and the lines that change. Really dried great. 
I'm going to uh, put resin on this and then I'll have the other two tiles to go along with it. So really, really happy with this. I'm really liking my TLP colors lately. I like using them. I don't know why I don't use them a little more often. So, But I think I will start incorporating them in some of my pores. So. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Let's head over to Kelly with Feral Art. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.